In the last year alone, nearly 9 in 10 Americans will have experienced the short end of what has been classified as hero business. However, these heroes are rarely ever held responsible for the damages they leave behind until now. The following never-before-seen footage has been reviewed by a qualified team, including a licensed attorney and former criminal prosecutor, a licensed clinical psychologist, and my cousin Eric. Viewer discretion is advised. Uh, why don't you grab a seat over there? Notice how the leading detective offers the suspect a seat. This is done to put him at ease and make the detective seem less authoritative. Yeah, I, yeah, I figured. Here, the suspect responds in a negative tone, a common response when the suspect is offered a chair but is already drawn sitting in said chair. This is done to save money on the illustrations. All right, so it says here you have had uh, pl plenty of children with you on these uh, excursions. Oh my God, please, please call them sidekicks if you're going to talk about them. I mean, the way you're saying it makes it sound a lot worse. Well, Mr. Batman, how exactly do uh, sidekicks fall into your possession? Why is it always about... Look, look, they're not... I'm not kidnapping. I don't really think... Okay, <laughs> they're my okay. kids. Okay, so they're your kids, but uh, where are you getting the, the green light on this? I mean, I mean, what foster home sees a man in a bat costume and thinks that's a good well, idea? Well, it's not like I'm going to these places as Batman, you know? Uh -huh. Look, look what, I, what I do with my kids, I do with my kids, all right? They're, they're trained, they know what they're doing, I'm always there to protect them. There's, there's no genuine risk there. What's the mortality rate with these uh, sidekicks? Uh, about each one has died. But, uh, but they got better. And you just let it happen. I mean, when we asked Superman about this, he had a Wait, 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 hold on. You, you guys booked Superman? Yeah. How? I don't know. We just put him in cuffs and brought him in. Like, like, kryptonite handcuffs? Uh, no. No, just, just regular handcuffs. Bullshit. You think you could shed some light on those photos we showed you earlier? Sure, sure. That's, uh, it's me taking a cow down of a tree. If I know correctly, that would be Mr. Ross's tabby. Cute little guy. Pulling him out. Or putting him in. Huh? The suspect responds to the question with one of his own. Oftentimes, a suspect might do this to give himself more time to think of a response. I mean, we think the photos speak for themselves. Oh, I just need to make sure I heard you right. Maybe my superhero is having an you know, off day, but you're trying to say I put the cats in the tree. Well, you have to think. I mean, how common is it that cats get stuck in trees? Okay, so, so you believe that I'm just flying around putting cats in, in, in trees? I, I, why would I do that? What do I gain from that? Notice how the suspect avoids eye contact. This is an instinctive response to make oneself feel smaller and out of view from a predator. One time when I was five, I found a dead body in the woods and never told anyone. Let's see how the suspect responds to more aggressive questioning. And not only that, but Metropolis has the highest rate of cat and tree related incidents in the country which only spiked around the time you showed up. Uh, do, do I get a phone call? I sent Grand Theft Auto 15 separate murder charges. Do, do you realize I think this goes you sick fuck? I did show one other person the body. The corpse told me to in a dream, but when they saw the body, I knew they couldn't stay alive. She struggled, but it was over the minute she trusted me. Don't play dumb, pal. We got a fucking witness in the other room who could put you right at the scene of the crime. <laughs> Cut that out. Hey, don't put this in the video, okay? Uh, yeah, man, I saw the whole thing. Guy at the register emptied the whole damn thing like he said, and Aquaman still just, just fucking aired the whole gas station out, man. I could have told you he'd do some shit like that. He started really, really getting into those fucking Snapple fags they have, like, on the caps of the bottles, and I just knew he was a sick fuck, dude. I mean, I mean, like, anyone who can tell you how many stripes are on a zebra shouldn't be allowed access to a gun. It, it's that simple. All right, so look, that's all I know, all right? We done? All right, okay, please just tell me these tapes aren't going to be given out like candy so those fucking true crime channels can make a breakdown of it. The suspect is clearly conscious of his guilt and is trying to shield himself from what others might think. Often it is the punishment for these impulses they fear, not the harm it does to others. Because I already know they'll say some shit about how I blink the wrong way and uh, how it means I'm a sociopath or something. The suspect is a prick. Well, we talked to your friend and he's giving us a whole other story. <laughs> Austin ain't a laughing matter, pal. He got nothing. <laughs> 